Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout Original Classic. Now, in between episodes, uh, I went ahead and healed myself, so I'm no longer sitting at three hit points. Uh, we did tell uh, What's Her Face that we wanted to sneak over and try to talk to the leader of Aditum. So we're going to try and head down there. Can't talk right now. Here, here he is. Why haven't you taken care of it yet? I changed my... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. Okay. How about... How about I try I change my mind? Get out of here, then. If you don't help, Aditum, Aditum has no need of you. And I got... I got thrown out. Yeah, let's leave. Well, I guess that settles that, then. What an asshole. Okay. This seems to be a lot a lot uh, larger of a map than I than I at first admitted. Nobody in there. To it, let's just go talk to the leader and we'll go uh, for a full full frontal attack here. Come on, let me in. There we go. No, let me in the hell? Why can't I? Oh, there's somebody standing out for outside the damn door. Hey, you! Move! Let me through! Okay, where's what's-her-face? Wait a minute. Why is she not in here? Where'd she go? Give me a second. Where the hell did the leader go? A dead razor? What the fuck? She's dead. What happened? I may have to reload. Alright, I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna reload because that that was weird. That was bizarre. Why did she spontaneously die? Did somebody kill her? That was bizarre. Let's go ahead and go. I sure I'd like to take the regulators down. Great, let's go. Yeah, let's go. And it puts me out front, of course. Not a problem. Ah, damn it. I, I meant to do a, an aim shot. Let's go ahead and move over here, then. Why would you shoot dog meat? Yeah, one of them down. Oh, they got energy weapons. Nice. Alright, the next one up. We're gonna have to take out all these guys, aren't we? Can I shoot through a chain link fence? What the hell's going on? Oh, target spotted. Wait, what? What the hell's going on down here? Are they just beating the shit out of uh, blades? Oh, we got a second, a second front then. So this is gonna be a big, a big battle. All right, they killed John. Some named people getting into combat. I have no idea who's on my side and who's not. I should have taken that friend or foe perk. Okay, so I suspect Lorraine is on my side. Because the regulators keep attacking her. So I can move up to four and still get off an aim shot. This is... Who is this? Alright, who is this? I don't get a name. Is that a regulator? You see a regulator? You see a regulator. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take a shot at this guy's uh, right leg. Or no. The head. 
Boom! Headshot. My face! Oh, somebody shot me. Who shot me? Probably this probably this person up here. You have to target them next. Alright, my turn again. Let's take out this guy because he had the Teremity to shoot me. Shot in the head. I'm probably doing that all wrong. I'm going to retreat a little bit over here. Ah! I just got shot randomly out of the blue and killed. Not even the carrion eater. Well, I guess we're gonna try that again. Not gonna make you sit through it. Uh, I'll let you know when something interesting happens. All right, clearing the gate. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I may leave some of this footage in depending on if I finish it. Uh, it may be all in fast forward. We'll have to see how it goes. Oh yeah, shot to the head. Shoot this guy in the head. Ooh, that had to hurt. Man, it's like a mosh pit of death over here. No, Ian, why are you going in there? Fucking A, Ian. Well, I clearly can't go any in there. Thank you, Ian. For that matter, we're done with combat. How are we done with combat? What the hell? Well, tell you what. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to loot Caleb. Money. And Caleb clearly has combat armor, but I apparently can't take it. But I can take a bunch of other shit. I may be nearing my... Uh, Wait, what? Who just attacked me? Wait, what? Yeah, who's who's attacking me? Oh, I see who's attacking me. Yeah, let's uh Shoot this person. Come on, guys. We got more people to kill. I totally didn't see this guy coming out of the building. There's another one. In that combat, there's just one more. Come on, we gotta end these regulators. Yeah, I'm not going to run out there into combat. We'll, we'll take the opportunity to reload. I'll stay behind this other regulator. Or not this other regulator, this other blade. Combat armor and full energy weapons.
Here, let's, uh, let's finish this combat out. Damn it! I meant to do a complete aim shot. Oh, well. One more. After this, I should be able to talk to the mayor. Ow, he shot me! I'll return the favor. Boom! That had to hurt. You are victorious in combat. You gain 2,000 experience, I suppose, for clearing this town of regulators. Go ahead and take these real quick. Let's talk to... Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Poor John. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a tunnel down there. Yeah, where does that go, I wonder? Uh, let's search the place, though, first. I think Lorraine died halfway through all of that. I don't know if I made a grievous mistake just now or what. Let's see who we can talk to. Now that we've cleared Aditum. All these dead people. Have you found the parts yet? I found the parts. I couldn't pick them up. Your SOL. Man, so many dead people out here. Oh, Rataway. Right I think I might have to take that. What the hell is a ripper? What ammo does it use? Energy cells. Okay. That's for if I when I need to take the energy weapons up. Uh, so I guess what we're gonna have to do is talk to uh, talk to Razor. Thank you for helping us with the regulators. Please feel free to stay as long as you want. You might want to check out in with Miles and Smitty. They may be able to help you with your further travels. Uh, you know what? I have. And they didn't really have anything to offer. I don't even know if Smitty's still alive. I think he's in here. Anyway, that was a, certainly an interesting little issue. Um, I'm going to browse around and see what else I can do. Oh, remember this guy up here. Said he might be able to uh, train me. Let's see what he has to say now. McRae claps you on the back. Thanks to you, the Blades are going to live a better life. So what can an old Scotsman do for you? You said earlier that if you had some free time, you could teach a few things. Well, I guess I do have the time. Might as well start right now. McRae starts showing you some fighting stances and ways to take punches like a true Scotsman. You be a quick learner. Hope that helps you in your travels. Not even gonna do the uh, Nick, and, and then and I have no idea what else to do here. Thank you for helping us clean out the regulators from Adism. Here's what we can spare to help you further in your travels. Thank you for the supplies. All right. I think I'm about done here. So I've cleared out this place. Where the hell do I go? Now? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to go talk to the gun runners. I will be back shortly then. Okay, there's no reason to leave now that your friends have gotten rid of those damn regulators. What do you got today? I'm just here to pick up a few things. What do you got today? You need to talk to Zach about buying things. Okay. I thought you guys were leaving. Wait. Maybe I should follow that first one. Nope. That's cool. So yeah, these guys aren't leaving. The regulators are down, the blades are good to go, and only half of the residents of Additon died, so hey, win-win. Well, I'll tell you what, um, we are probably going to have to go look towards the Brotherhood of Steel, because I think that's like one of my only options left. 
So let's look off to the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, heading off to the Brotherhood. Probably going to get myself killed, but... Hey, it might be worth it. A small building surrounded by a chain link fence is to the north menacing guards and heavy armor patrol the area. Am I going to get died? You going to kill me? Greetings and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. What is the Brotherhood of Steel? The Brotherhood is a collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the preservation of technology. Now, what type of armor is that, that you're wearing? This is powered combat infantry armor model T-51B, or more commonly known as power armor. I've been wandering the waste for weeks and for for weeks for weeks. Editor, editor, where are you? One weeks, so or one one of these should be taken out. Never seen armor like this before. The Brotherhood are the sole bearers of the power armor in the waste. Only the honored and the knights of the highest stature are given the privilege to wear the ultimate armor. How does one join the Brotherhood? You'll need to speak with Cabot about that. Okay, what's it all about, anyways? Okay. Goodbye. You see Cabot, Hello, an initiative of the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of, Steel. of Steel. There we May go. I ask you a business here? Um, can I ask a few I'm questions? Sorry, I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. Okay. That's not going to well, help. Well, hello again. You decide what you wanted. I want to join the Brotherhood. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. All right. Like what? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order. That's south of here. Okay. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. How will you know if it's from inside this the place? This place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. You'll do it. You will? Sure, why not? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. He doesn't sound too sure of himself. I can't believe it. They're sending him down there? Sure, why not? I have no idea where this place is, but it's to the south of here. The Glow. Am I right? Yep. Probably. Off to the globe. Ah, random encounters. Holy shit! Look at this footprint! You see the remains of a peasant. I'm gonna take this. Well, what the hell is Stealth Boy, anyway? God damn it, I gotta clear some room. Give me a second. Fuck those flares. I can never figure them out. Uh, so there's this big-ass footprint with a dead peasant in the middle. And then the stealth boy in the middle of that. So what's the stealth boy do? A Robco Stealth Boy 3001 personal stealth device generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light on, from one side of an object to the other. It weighs three pounds. So I can use it to become invisible, which is going to be useful with the damn sniper. Uh, sniper skills. I want to know what caused that footprint. That was fucked up. Where is the glow? Oh, the glow is all the way down there. Wow. Another encounter. Okay, who is this? With an odd assortment of knickknacks. What brings you out this far? Why are you carrying all that junk? It's not junk, it's trade goods. So, what's your story? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. Kind of, what kind of work do you do? Mostly a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I help junk town with their lights and show, show the people in Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. Can you direct me to a nearby settlement? Um, what kind of music do you sing? Oh, mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. Would you happen to know Nagela Mabdea, as I think it's called? Why, certainly. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Patrick sings songs and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel invigorated. 
Okay. So that's Patrick, and I have no idea whether that cost me time or, or what, but I, I see that uh, I'm at full hit points, but I might have been at full hit points before. Location, the glow. What the hell happened here? What the hell did happen here? The remains of Loser. Being here without Radaway or anything like that is probably real bad. Oh fuck, I just realized something. You have received a large dose of radiation. Oh no. I don't have a rope, do I? I thought I had a rope. Oh shit. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to reload and get a rope. I'm, I'm gonna reload, get a rope, and then I'm gonna come back here. Oh shit. Uh, so as I was going to go get some rope from, like, Shady Sands, I've come upon a, uh, there's, there's a fuzzy painting of Elvis, a couple dead aliens, an alien blaster, which I need, I really want that alien blaster. You know what? I'm going to trade my small p pistol for it. And then what the hell is this? Can I go in there? No, I can't. So I found a crashed... You find a small label that reads, Property of Area 51. Return if found. Ha! <laughs> okay. Let's see what that alien blaster does. Has 30 slash 30 shots of a small energy cell. A strange gun of obviously alien origin. Looks like it can support small energy cells, however. Minimum strength, too. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. What? Damage 30 to 90. Holy crap! Um, yes. Oh my god, that's that's worth saving on. No, want to quit? Tell you what, I I'll try that out. I may have to boost, start boosting my uh, my energy weapons now. Wow. Okay, well, uh, just to check in real quick, I've got my Stealth Boy, uh, encounter. So I just need to figure out how to pick that up. And, of course, once again, I'll just trade my flares for it. And there you go, I got both of the specials that I was looking for. Well, not that I was looking for, but both of the special things that I was, uh, interested in. Okay, uh, two large doses of radiation as soon as I enter. That sucks. I have no idea how that's going to work. But here's a beam, and I've just used... Oh my god, I'm, I'm racking up the doses of radiation at double time here. Yeah, let's... Uh... Let's use this. I'm just, uh, soaking up the radiation here. This is gonna suck, suck royal. So I've gotta find some sort of equipment in the glow. I can't get in there, although that, that looks like the kind of thing that I could use. Holy shit! I'm getting radiation left and right in here. This place was hit by a direct strike, it seems.
Yeah, I'm gonna need some rat away, aren't I? I can't be in here forever. Let's try to get that odd armor then, shall we? Oh. What was that? Hit for 15 points. No idea what that was. Okay, I've got a yellow pass key and that, which is what the Brotherhood sent me to retrieve. Let's head on out of here. Wait, what the, what the fuck is this? Yeah, let's, let's try this real quick. Okay, system primary power, offline, secondary, online. We'll turn the primary powers, reinitialize primary power. Error, error, primary system initialization failed. Emergency power. All right. Uh, let's just go with this then. Let's get the hell out of here. Can I cut across here? No, I can't. Damn. Gotta get out of here before I die of radiation poisoning. Oh my god. I've got one thing a rat away. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, I have no doubt that I am completely screwed on the radiation front. Let's head here first. I have no idea what I'm going to do about all that radiation. Uh, so I will see you when I get a moment. I'm going to use that rad away right now. And hope that it helps. You lost 25 current radiation level. Let's, uh, see about the, uh, about this. Downloading data from disk. Let's see what that disk had in mind, and then I'm probably going to call it. Because I have no idea what I'm going to edit this down to. Let's go to archives. Nope. Let's go to status. Um, ancient Brotherhood tape. Captain Maxson was right. This place is death. I'm writing this so that if we don't make it back, someone someday might be might find out what happened to us. We made it to West Tech Research Facility after 20 days of hell, but that was the easy part. The radiation levels began to shoot up as soon as we could see the giant crater. We checked our supplies and figured with our armor and our anti-rad supplies we'd be fine for at least a day of exploring. We felt it was a calculated risk, but the technology we had the potential of recovering was worth it. We climbed down the crater to the first level of it, and everything seemed to be according to plan. The power was off, so we didn't need to circumvent the security. Or so we thought. There wasn't much of value on this level, so we pushed on. The second level was more of the same. When Jensen dropped to the third level, all hell broke loose. The security sensors had been burned out on the first two levels, but not on the third. Jensen was cut to ribbons before he knew what had happened. We'd never seen weapons cut through power armor like that. Men started dropping right and left, and the ones who were still alive lost it. I tried to regroup, but only Soto and Camarilla made it back up here to the first level with me. The fact that I can smell Soto's burning flesh where his arm was taken off means that my ar power armor is no longer airtight. So I'm sucking up a lot more rads than I had planned on. I'm leaking hydraulics at an alarming rate. We need to get for far enough away from this place before my armor dies. Camarilla seems fine physically. But he wandered off about an hour ago, mumbling something about Gehenna. That bastard has all the anti-rad. That leaves Soto and myself. We can't make it far enough away from here without the anti-rads. So I've got to try to find Camarilla before it's too late. Sergeant D. Allen, United States Armed Forces. Which means that there was probably a bunch of anti-rads down there in that room. Um, which kind of sucks for me, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, let's go to uh, the boneyard because it's the closest nope Your I died are scraped clean by the I died wind. radiation poisoning well that poses an interesting thing I'm going to have to cut it here because I've been going for a while now but we will explore the glow a little bit more in the next episode when I've got a better handle on what the hell I need to do down there for now this has been the RPG crawler with Fallout 1 if you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.